Well, I'm probably po parked a little close to the fire pit, but <laughs> oh well, it'll be fine. Hello friends, family, total strangers. Uh, today's video is uh, about uh, eating uh, healthy and cheaply <laughs> uh, while living the uh, hashtag van life. Um, but uh, before we get to that, uh, I did want to say where I am and how I got here. So I was up uh, near Marble Canyon, Marble Canyon, uh, which is awesome up there in northern, northern Arizona near Page. And um, I had planned to stay up there for a few weeks, and, uh, but I wanted to make a doctor's appointment. Um, just to get a general health checkup, which I haven't really had, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting older here, and so it's it's time to start getting some yearly health checks, and um, you know, find out, get my blood work done, and all that. So I thought it would be several weeks before I could get an appointment, which is pretty much what I was told, um, and uh, it turns out that I got an appointment. I was a new patient, and I got an appointment for two days. <laughs> after the phone call. So I was like, oh crap. So I wish I had known that before I drove all the way up to Page because then I had to drive back down to Phoenix uh, for my doctor's appointment. So I'm camped uh, here again outside of Phoenix. And um, test went well, test went well. I got all my blood work back. Uh, everything looks good except my cholesterol is slightly elevated. So I don't need drugs or anything. I can just adjust it by diet, but uh, yeah, my cholesterol is a little high, so I'm going to try to cut out the, the butter and <laughs> maybe some other things. Uh, so, yeah, let's talk about uh, living, uh, eating healthy in the van um, and cheaply. So last year I, I worked in Phoenix and um, I discovered a store uh, this store. Yeah, the 99 cent only. And I know what you're thinking. Oh no, he, sh he shops for groceries at a dollar store. Um, yes. <laughs> However, this is not the Dollar Tree. Uh, dollar Tree, everything in the store is a dollar. The uh, 99, and it's all, pretty much the Dollar Tree is all dry goods, you know, stuff. Um, the 99 cent only store is ironically named because it's not 99 cents only. <laughs> there are items that are $1.99 and $2.99, but for the most part, everything in the store is 99 cents, 99.99 cents. So they can technically call it 99 cents, but everything in the store is a dollar for the most part, with the exception of a few items, some items. So yeah, it's uh, it's different from the Dollar Tree because of the produce section. They have all of this discount produce. And when I say discount, you're thinking probably like expired or close to expiring. And that's not really what the store is. It's more of an overstock.com in grocery store form. <laughs> so it's things that the wholesale distributor uh, has too much of and has to get rid of it before it goes bad. So it, it sells it to discount stores like this for cheap, like the 99 cent only store. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's a great way to shop for fruits and vegetables. So I uh, went to the store and I, after I got out, I I was right, ne right next to a Safeway. So I went over and checked the prices on everything that I had just bought at the Safeway. Uh, as far as the produce goes, and I'll show you that to you right now. So uh, everything you see here um, was a total of $15. 
Uh, the only things here that were not a uh, dollar uh, were the strawberries were a dollar ninety nine, and the avocados were a dollar ninety nine. Here they are, and everything else was one dollar or ninety nine point nine cents. <laughs> And uh, yeah, let's talk about what we got here. We got uh, a pound of organic strawberries uh, for $1.99. We got six ounces, so this is a standard size of uh, blueberries. Uh, these are organic, those were $1. <laughs> we got Asian pears. Uh, there's three of them in there. It's a pound and a half. Uh, those were one dollar. We've got a, a large bag of green onions. These are similar priced to what you'd get in the store for this big bag. It's uh, 99 cents, but you know they're normally right around that in a grocery store. Eggplants. We got two eggplants here. Um, those were a dollar. We got some specialty mushrooms, which we'll be using for Asian stir fry, I believe. Uh, those were a dollar. Living butter lettuce, a dollar. A bag of avocados, this was a uh, dollar ninety-nine, so two dollars. Uh, two of the steak tomatoes, a dollar. Um, this is one of those things that they pretty much sell for the same price. It's an extra small package, uh, but it was a dollar, and you normally find a, a eight ounce package. This is four ounce. You'd normally find an eight ounce package for similar price per ounce, so not much savings on that one. We got three bunches of cilantro, which honestly, I just got this because I wanted cilantro and I didn't want to go uh, to the other store at the time. And um, Although it is cheaper, uh, nobody is going to use three bunches of cilantro. That's a lot of cilantro. <laughs> um, these are the medley potatoes. These are a dollar. And uh, finally, we've got two plantains. These were 50 cents each. So two for a dollar. So a dollar. And yeah, this is uh, a ton of produce. This is a, a lot of uh, food here. Um, and all of this was $15 total. I priced all this out at the Safeway next door and it was $37.87. So that is a huge difference. <laughs> this is less than half the price. But yeah, and you can even sh shop on even better deals than that if you want. There's some things that I could have got that I had bought last time that I didn't need yet. I still have some produce uh, left from the last shop at the, the 99 cent uh, only store. So yeah, 99 cent only is great for discount produce and none of this stuff is expired. None of this stuff is really even close to expiration. Uh, organ I mean, some of this stuff is organic. I mean, organic strawberries, organic blueberries which is great. So yeah, not, uh, not too shabby. Yeah. Those blueberries were awesome. I pretty much just pounded the whole, uh, the whole thing while filming this video. <laughs> I've got three left. Uh, I got, I did a grocery shop before that one where I got a lot of other, uh, uh, fruits and vegetables. I got, uh, a fresh uh, basil plant, like the living basil plant, which is awesome. And it, uh, you can keep those alive for quite a while inside the inside a van. <laughs> I just put it in my little drink console and uh, it makes the van smell really nice as well. Uh, and it was 99 cents. And uh, yeah, multi multifunctional. It's a deodorizer <laughs> and you can eat it. Um, yeah, so I bought a, a bunch of stuff at that grocery shop. So I'm going to show you a bunch of uh, things that I've cooked. Uh, some of this was uh, in the previous grocery shop. Some of it is in the footage that I just showed. It's from the footage I just showed. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, cut to that footage. I should say 
that most of this was cooked before I got my high, high cholesterol news. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I just bought a bunch of vegetables, but I'm feeling kind of lazy tonight, so I just did a grilled turkey and cheese with pesto. Which, uh, not gonna lie, looks pretty good right now. That is spinach, onions, uh, garlic, and red bell pepper on top of Parmesan crusted uh, sourdough. I'm frying these up with olive oil. Uh, I'm trying to cut down on my butter intake. <laughs> okay, and I topped that with a couple fried eggs, and uh, that is basil and the obligatory uh, Valentina hot sauce. <laughs> Yum. Some noodles with fresh veggies for our dinner. Kind of a light dinner. I had a late lunch, so. A couple fried eggs on some beans. Onions, garlic, red bell pepper, and a little bit of uh, chili powder and salt. Green chili and black beans, and we're gonna grate some cheddar cheese. There's the filling with the grated cheddar mixed in there. Here's our jar of enchilada sauce. Uh, I got it on clearance sale. Uh, the one thing I like about having a jar is that I can then, if I don't use it all, I can throw it in the fridge. <laughs> okay, we got our assembly line all set up here. Okay, so we dumped uh, more enchilada sauce over the top. Well, they, it seems more like a casserole. <laughs> than individual enchiladas, but uh, we'll make it work. <laughs> well, you know, good enough for me. <laughs> I will say uh, next time I do enchiladas, I will definitely try to, um, I will raise them up off the bottom of the road pro because it kind of stuck to the bottom and I'll probably use some sort of little, uh, little pan, little uh, bread pan instead of just right on the, in the foil, so for next time. A little snow up on the mountains this morning. Uh, with my leftover enchilada filling, I uh, scrambled up a couple eggs and made a breakfast quesadilla. Well, I accidentally bought firm tofu instead of extra firm tofu. Uh, so it kind of has the consistency of kind of like a Greek yogurt. So it's, it's yeah, soft consistency. We'll see how it works in my curry. So we have uh, onion, one small onion, uh, red bell pepper. We have ginger and garlic cut up over there in the corner. Uh, and then we have one eggplant and along with the tofu we are going to make a green curry over rice so a Thai green curry if you can get it from an Asian market it's going to be a lot better than this grocery store stuff but eh, you got to use what you got sometimes a little fish sauce uh, Feel free to not use this if you're vegetarian, vegan, or just scared of the terrible smell of it. <laughs> okay, just put the rice in the thermos. Should take uh, about 30 minutes. Thermos cooking some rice. Uh, I like these little boxes of tofu because they are shelf stable, so you don't have to refrigerate them. And, uh, you know, carrying chicken, uh, it goes bad quick. So it's nice to have this just for if I want to do like a, a curry or a stir fry or something. Uh, I will say people in America tend to think of tofu as a meat substitute 
and like a poor meat substitute. <laughs> but that's really not how it's used in Asia. Uh, you know, they don't really have milk over there. So it's really tofu is kind of like their version of cheese or yogurt. And it's used as such in their cooking. So most tofu dishes also have meat in them uh, in Asia. However, I am using it as a meat substitute. <laughs> and there we are. A little Thai curry. Pretty exciting. Uh, here's a little sandwich I just whipped up really quick. This is uh, cheese, tomato, avocado, butter lettuce, and uh, a little bit of fresh basil. Little veggie and cheese sandwich. A couple of breakfast burritos. Paraglider. It'll probably be too late to film uh, all this, but I am going to start anyway. <laughs> I'm doing a vegetable pasta. Got some mushrooms, multicolored carrots, garlic, tomato, onion, and I'm also going to add some fresh basil parmesan to this. There it is. It is delicious. A little vegetable pasta. Pasta by campfire. Very nice. Uh, he's eating the coals. <laughs> hmm. Frying up a little eggplant. There's my eggplant. That is one whole eggplant all cut up. Uh, I would say eggplant is one of the most unfairly maligned vegetables out there. Uh, most people undercook it, which is why they think it's terrible. <laughs> but if you cook eggplant enough, it is absolutely delicious. I am using my living basil plant that I got last time <laughs> for $1 at the dollar store, at the 99 cent store. And uh, my potato gnocchi was also a dollar at the 99 cent store, so. Uh, I love gnocchi because they are very fast, about two to three minutes once the water's boiling, and uh, they float when they're done, so you know when they're done. <laughs> and there we have uh, eggplant gnocchi. Um, so this is super simple. It's just olive oil, eggplant, salt and pepper, fresh basil, and uh, gnocchi, and there's no, and Parmesan. And there is uh, no garlic in this. I think if I did it again, I'd probably put a little bit of garlic in the oil and then remove it. Like just a clove in the oil and then remove it just to give that little hint. But uh, garlic would probably overpower the eggplant. So this is, uh, this is pretty good. Beans and rice with some plantains. Looks delicious. This is obviously not a low-carb diet I'm on. <laughs> So uh, no keto diet here. So they have 99 cent only stores. There's quite a few of them in Arizona. They also have some in Southern Nevada, California, and Texas. And what's great about that is all of those are states where nomads winter. <laughs> so for van life, RV life, um, there's a bunch of them in Phoenix and Tucson and in the suburbs around Phoenix and Tucson. There's a couple in between. There's a couple down in Yuma. There's Lake Havasu, Kingman, Bullhead City. They're, uh, yeah, they're pretty well distributed throughout the state. So they're not everywhere, but uh, if you stop at one, get in there and get the produce because it's cheap and delicious. Um, yeah, I, I, I discovered this last winter and I rediscovered it just just uh, a week or two ago when I came back to Phoenix. It's like, oh, 99 cent only, that's right. Uh, and yeah, they're great. So uh, I should also mention uh, there's another discount chain, uh, which 
isn't here in Arizona, but it's in California, Oregon, and Washington, called the Grocery Outlet, uh, nicknamed the Gross Out. <laughs> grocery Outlet is uh, awesome, too. They have really cheap wine at the Grocery Outlet, and um, they have really good deals a lot on meat and cheese, uh, and decent on the produce. Um, I feel like uh, 99 cent only is better for produce. Uh, the other one, the grocery outlet, is better for wine and meat and cheese. But um, you can find deals on meat and cheese at the 99 cent only occasionally as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I had also gotten some uh, organic Swiss cheese for $1.99 for an 8-ounce package. You know, I'm not a big fan of Swiss, but I'll, I'll give it a try every now and again. <laughs> One of the really cool things about shopping like this is that it really kind of forces me outside of my little uh, boxes that I put myself in, like eggplant. <laughs> well, like uh, it's it's fun, like getting the stuff that you wouldn't normally buy because it's too expensive, like strawberries and blueberries or random things like eggplant. You know, uh, it's fun. It kind of forces you outside of your your little ruts you get stuck in, your cooking ruts. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my story. That's that's how that's a great way to save. And again, on things like I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, pretty much my video. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna play you out uh, with a banjo tune. Uh, this is an original. Uh, one night in Manteca. So thanks for watching.